fish on. So we're going fishing. Take it away, Lex. We're going to land in no pier, and we're probably not going to catch anything. Right then. What's that all about? Do you mean we're not going to catch any fish? Because we, we won't. For God's sake. Right, how would I introduce the video? You would go. Hi guys, it's Gamekeeper John. Right, we are going to land in no pier, and make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it, girl. <laughs> See you there. Let's go. Alright, get the barrel down, come on. You got it? I don't think you are going to have that, are you? <laughs> now nah, put it down, girl. Fair play. Not bad, right? We parked up in the middle of that Dudno town because. Um, because. <laughs> so, just entered the pier. Nothing's open yet. Hi Lexi! Hi! Hi! <laughs> Show you a quick look around. We're going to be going to the end. There's something big there in the water. I think it might be a seagull actually. <laughs> Mike's always said he's wanted to fish this on high water. I've never seen anybody fish it. You can see where the water line goes up to and cast down onto that stuff. But that's going to be about eight, ten foot deep on high tide. It's a massive tide today. Well, obviously, I'm going up to the end of the pier. Video, like yeah, there's a seal, sunbathing on there, it's sunbathing, it was December, but it was cold bathing. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's about three hours off high now. We're going to fish it if it's five or six hours, all being well. Um, yeah, it's all shut, at the barra there. Right, let's get to the end of the pier and stop rambling and waffling, eh? See if we can catch some fish. Tell you what, it's an absolute ghost town in winter. We're going right to the end. There's literally nobody anywhere, nobody in the hotels, nothing. It's a beautiful place, Landon, though, as well, or Landon, no, depending on how you say it. Water's filthy, <laughs> and it's just like there's no ripples, and if that's going to benefit us or not, we're going to be right on the end off that platform. But yeah, um, I'm in a t shirt, it's not even cold. Not even cold, la. <laughs> um, yeah. Quite what I was going to say. We get to the end. Uh, hopefully, there's nobody there because it's nice to have it to yourself. But if there is, there is. We're going to pay in the shop. We're going to have some dinner in the shop. Uh, let's get to the end of that pier then, all the way up there. This is the land of no wall. We normally fish off. We normally park there and fish over. It's mad how deep it is. You can see the water line there. It's, it's, well, it's just started flooding in now. It's still pretty much low. Well, it's halfway up, shall I say? Was it halfway down? No, it's halfway up, he's coming in. Hey, the grand old Duke of York. <laughs> what do you reckon? Right, yeah, anyway, that's where we fish, off that wall. You can see how deep it is there. And I know it's super deep there still. You can't even see the bottom, look, it just goes. So I reckon even on low water, you can fish all around here into deep channels and stuff. It's very rocky and snaggy though. But uh, yeah, that's where we normally fish. So we just got our tickets. Now they're off to land the door. See if anybody's there. Subscriber, mate. Uh, are you a subscriber? Are you right, I was yeah. just filming a video and he's gone gamekeeper, John. Yeah. Pleased <laughs> to meet you, mate. You're alright, yeah? Yeah. Good, nice good. Yeah. I'm going to come and do a bit of film. You don't mind me dropping on this corner, do you? No, not at all. It'd be a pleasure to fish with you. Good, good. Any bites? Right, we're going to struggle a little bit here because I forgot my lead box. These are the only three leads I've got. That's for Lexi's little rod, and that's for my two big rods. So, there ain't really a lot we can do. I've got no way of making them, no way of getting back home. It'll take too long, so we've got that one for Lexi. She's got a little scratching rig on there. And three snap-offs, and we're done. So, the first rod to go in the water was Lexi's little rod on a little scratching rig with some little bits of black lug as bait. Yeah, I better get the drop net in, just in case. Just in case. <laughs> you never know, do you? Should get the drop net in just in case. Yeah, having a nightmare here. Um, three leads, so I might have to uh, go to one of these little lots in a minute and improvise with some stones or whatever they sell and uh, try and make it work somehow. Yeah. <laughs> I've just put a pulley pedal out with a full squid. I ain't gonna set my other rod up, so I ain't, well, I've got one lead left, and it's a 12 ounce one as well. Massive lead, but it'll do. 
but we'll uh, we'll make it work one way or another, eh? Not everything in life goes to plan. <laughs> Dad have an easy life. Could do with an easy life lately. <laughs> it's been tough. <laughs> Gonna show you what. Tell them what's happening, girls. Right? We have been fishing half an hour and no bites. No bites. No bites. None at Next all. Time. Tell you what, I could get used to this. What you reckon, girl? Mm -hmm. January the twenty fourth. I knew that. Sat here in a t-shirt. It's not even cold. Not even cold at all, man. Um, the gentleman behind me, uh, first thing he said, I'm one of your subscribers. Um, he's doing some LRF fishing, really little ox and worms, so I'll let you know if he has anything. But um, nothing for us, to be honest. <laughs> you jinxed us in the car, you know, saying that we're not going to get nothing. It's not even the little rods that are bite. That calf up there opens at 10. I don't know about you, girl, but I'm starving, yeah? And it is 9.55. It's 9.55, so we're going to go up there, and we're absolutely starving. I'm scared to bring the rods in until I get more lets in case it, um, in case it snaps off. <laughs> but I was gonna, I've was going got some swivels with me and some fishing lines, so I was going to walk down to the beach, get a load of rocks, sort of six, eight ounce weight, and uh, I was going to tie some swivels on them just to make do, because I ain't jacking. I'll improvise one way or another. But... Uh, Nothing, not even the little rods having a bite, but so it's just chilled here, man. Proper chilled. This is so cool. The only thing you need in your hand now is a beer, which I don't drink anymore, which is hard because that one up there is a bar. We've got a pigeon, it's a pigeon. Oh my god, there's two. There's two, there's two pigeons. How many? Two. Oh my god, another one just came. But uh, in all fairness, it's so easy fishing it. I've wheeled it all up on the cart barra. Um, and there's just it's just easy to sit here all day. Wind, rain or shine. Makes a change from uh, last time we was here. <laughs> it's a nightmare last time. But if we if we can get one mini species between us, I think we'll call that a success, eh? Well, I ain't gonna catch a mini species. I've got a massive squid on a pulley panel. But um It is what it is, isn't it? Well yeah. Catch a seal. Feeling chilled? Nice? Gonna catch a Nostalgic seal. is the word, I think. No, when, I, when, how, when have I ever snitched you up? You've never snitched me up for anything, you're a good kid. Exactly, so that's why you should go to the pub. I don't want to go to the pub, stop drinking. Yes. It's tempting when he's up there, though. <laughs> <laughs> might have a shandy with me lunch, eh? Might have a shandy with me lunch. You can have a pint. I dip my finger in it, it tastes horrible. I'm not even joking. You've dipped your finger in beer before? Oh, what if your teacher's watching this? Mm, Did you know so your teacher's husband watches my videos? Head teacher. Head teacher as well. Well, I will say that she probably drunk around when she was when she was sixteen. <laughs> she probably drunk around when she was sixteen. Oh dear. We're having a good time, haven't we, though, yeah? We're having fun. Need some fish. So I want to check the baits, but um we, need fish, we, want, fish. we want fish, don't we? I want some food. I'll show you what food they do up there. I don't know if it's any good or an absolute load of crap, but what I can what I can tell you is I'm gonna smash a load of it. Right guys, now we're gonna go and get some brekkie. <laughs> what are you doing? I mean you. She is an absolute animal, right. But she's right, we're gonna get some brekkie. Right, get your rod in, girl. You had little bits of worm on there, it's already been in half hour or so. Oh, let's have a look. Bring your end round here. This way, I'll just walk back a bit. She can knock me out with the lead. <laughs> right, both little, both bits of worm are still on there. It's been about half hour off London up here, not even a tap on the little rod. Whoops, right, food time. I'm sorry, it's lovely up here in the summer, so I don't really drink anymore, but uh, I've had some good days set out here. Shorts and a vest, a duck. Oh, I thought it was a duck. A duck sat on the roof, God's sake, kid. It, no, it was like a, a proper pigeon. It had like A proper neck. pigeon? It was a duck, just. A proper pigeon with a fat neck. Yeah. 
Right then, anyway, as I was saying, we've had some proper good days out here in the sun. We've sat here and probably sunk eight to ten pints before a year or two ago. Absolutely rammed it gets. Right, we're going to go in the calf. That's where the calf where we pay. And um, I'm going to go and see what the food's like. I'll give you a rating out of ten in a bit. Never at there. But uh, that's our little spot, look. Lovely little setup. It's one thing mission at mission, mission, fishing. Mission, we're missing the fish, mission, fishing the fish. Look at that, like us. A lot of people ask how much fishing is in London, don't they? Always um, causes debates on the groups. An adult, 15 years plus, is 7.50 for two rods, and a child is £2.50 for up to two rods. So there you go. Right, we're going to catch a fish today now. Yeah, you reckon? I do. They don't look bad, that though, so that'll do us for a bit of fishing, won't it? Bit of cake, a couple of brews. Jobs are good, then. Oh dear, I just dropped the. Uh, Kettle first thing Lexi said to the man yeah. Can somebody get a bowl so this child can put his tea in it? <laughs> so I'm back from Bracky now. Um, just talking to the guy who's fishing for the mini species. He says he fishes here 30 to 40 times a year. Um, you can normally bag up on wrasse. Like he's had 20, 30, 40 wrasse in the session, all the mini species. Uh, he hasn't had a bite in like two and a half hour fishing. I think he's fishing two or three rods all on mini species. He's just saying they... Um, Nothing's happening. Sod's law, the day I come, yeah. He's dropped freezing now. I don't know if it's I've been sat in the calf in the warm for the last 45 minutes. <laughs> but it's dropped absolutely freezing. But there's not a bite. There's not even, on the little scratching rigs and the tiny worms, there's not even been a... Which is, you know, I've fished here a couple of times. We've had plenty of bites before. There's just nothing. Very weird. But it's a comfy little spot here, look. Proper comfy little spot. But... Yeah, I'll bring you back if anything happens, people. Well, it's coming up to high tide now. See how much the water's rose. Still, not even a bite. Just rebaited this. I'm still only fishing one rod. That's crab and squid. Nice bait. Don't even know what I'm fishing for. I don't even know what's out there. I don't know if it's a doggy's cod or anything. I ain't too sure. Seals, possibly. Just uh, something don't seem right. So you're under this pier. I spoke to people who know divers and stuff, and I say all around these extensions and that under the pier, there's always loads of congers and that under there. But I've got no mackerel or meal, I'd have had a go. I've got squid though, to be fair, that'll do. Might set the other rod up, just waiting for uh, some more leads to come, because I ain't got much here. But, uh, hmm, don't know, people. Don't know. It's been an hour since the last clip I sent you, and nothing. So I'll get these rods back in, rebase, give it half hour, and uh, update you again, but... Don't know how to stay for the night tide tonight. Like stick it out for the next four or five hours in the light, struggling, and then just get on the night tide because that might be better. I don't know. Didn't really want to be out all day, all day though. I've got some bits to do, but hmm, lovely place though, yeah. Stunning place. What's your verdict then? What's the verdict? The verdict means what do you think of the situation. About what? The fish? The fishing in general. Don't say what I think you're going to say. <laughs> God. Well, I just had a huge drop back on that big bait then. But uh, unfortunately, reeled in for nothing. But there was a little bounce on it, then a big drop back. But uh, there's something out there. Well, what happened then is I had a couple of bangs on that big sausage bait I was putting out. Um, but I don't know if it could have been the lead moved because as you can see by the bend in the rod, the toad pull, toad, the tide pull, it's pretty horrendous and it has been moving the rod so it could have been the lead bouncing because the bait looked pretty much untouched when I pulled it in. But it did give a couple of nods and then a, a slackened off drop back. So I don't know. Can't be 100% it was a bite. It was definitely nothing on when I lifted the rod and the rod was, well, the bait was um, untouched, but it looked like a bite. We're about four or five hours in fishing now. Not much going down. Not much going down at all, to be honest. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be fishing a full mackerel now out there, would you? No, no. Uh, yeah, he's coming in, look. And off he goes. Well, there's really not much happening here. 
another hour or two has gone past. Lexi's since gone home with her mum. So I've got the three rods. This one, it's got uh, baited feathers on tiny little hooks with bits of worms, like for the micros. The middle one, it's got a big pulley out there with squid and crab. This one's got some larger baited feathers, so I've got the medium sized baits. I've got the big bait. I've even got the micros, but um, it's just, well, if there's fish here, I've got all rigs and all baits and all sizes covered. It's just not happening. Don't know if the seals had anything to do with it. And the people make their own mind up on that. The guy who uh, works in that building there, I don't know what he was doing, but um, he spoke to me and he said the last few days there's been so many seals around here. So could that have something to do with it? I don't know. Uh, don't mind fishing and cracking on, but it's just absolutely dead. I just feel as if um, time's been wasted. But it's comfy fishing. There's three rods out. Got a nice little station there to chill with, chill under. So yeah, hmm. It's just, you know, with three rods out and all aspects covered and not even, well, we had one little bite earlier, that was it. And that could have just been weed at the line or something, you know what I mean? Not much going down, people. Not much going down. I'll take a little rockling or something now just to stop the blank, you know what I mean? The other guy's um, packing up. He's not caught. I've hardly had any bites and he always has stuff here, so something ain't right. Well, I'll watch and see what happens. Well, this is the small rod. It's been in an hour. Look at all them baits. Tiny little baits. It's been in about an hour and it's not done nothing. Not one touch, not even the micros are in. As I say, that's a big pulley, nothing. Uh, I think I'm wasting my time, but I don't want to blank people, but when? These aren't being touched, these baits. And as I say, look, they're only tiny. Any, Even if there's any little rockling, little rass, little gobies, anything down there, it's just nothing. It's, uh, it's tough going. It's tough going, I might come and have a try over here. That bar keeps calling me, but stay strong. <laughs> stay strong. <laughs> I could have, a, uh, nearly sweat, I could have a flipping awesome time on here. I've got a nice six or seven bites this afternoon. Music's on at the bar. Come back down for the night tide. <laughs> it's a lovely place though, people. I'm gonna be doing a lot of fishing around the other side of there and off them rocks and that this summer. But yeah, it's just not. I don't know what it is. What do you think? I know it's that time of year. That's probably 95% of it. Do you think because the seals have all been here? Or... I don't know. I might fish a few hours into dark and just keep the free rods out and see what happens. I've got me, um, got me tripod there for the camera. I've got me light. I've got me drop net tied up ready. I've got all the rods. It would be silly to pack up and go home now, wouldn't it? I mean, I could probably put a few more hours in. I've got everything I need. The rods are set up. The bait. My brolly's set up. Yeah. I don't know what we got over there. I don't know if it's a seal or what. Probably a seal, but it's just looking long on top. It's just lying there. Is it a seal? Oh, there you go. It's gone anyway. But at least I've got it on video. Come on, what was it? I'm guessing a seal because there's a few about, but it just didn't look like the normal seal. Talking about seals. Do you think they look like seal's heads? <laughs> Oh, people, I'm really struggling here, you know. I'm, uh, it's got to be three, four o'clock now. We've been here since eight. It's going to be dark in another hour. Just nothing, not even on the tiny rods, nothing. I'm, I'm, there's obviously no fish here because I've got all rigs, all lights, all angles, all baits, all sizes, all spots. I've got everything covered and there's not even bites. And all the bites are coming in perfect every time. So they're either not here or they're not feeding. Um, because if there was any fish here that was eating anything, I'd have had a bite. It's literally nothing. I really want to get a fish on this video. You know, I'm gonna, probably going to put my head on the line and say, I'm staying here till I catch a fish of some sort, of some size. But when you haven't had a bite in five or six hours, you know, really, what's the chances of catching a fish in the next five or six hours? Well, there's another guy just come behind me. Um, he says, as soon as it turns dark, he kicks off here. Now, I ain't got a clue where he is. I don't know if he's fished it before, I ain't got a clue, but that's giving me the incentive to stay here till it's dark. You know, I'm just having a bite. I'm having a bite. Oh my God, people. Oh my God. That's a bite, isn't it? Is it? 
I had a run for that long, I thought what they looked like. It's a bite in it, some sort. Is it? Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so I might go and get me a couple of beers from the bar and I might fish a, that's a bite that is, but it's only like, it's only tippity tap. It's nothing to, um, and then he said something else. It's nothing to get of. <laughs> I don't even know what I, I do know what I was going to say, but I can't say it because there's little ones who watch this radio. It's nothing to get excited about. You can guess what I was going to say. It's nothing to get a, about. <laughs> um, yeah, it's off now, look. I'll have to put this phone down because something's happening there. And there's something having a, having a mess. Fish on. A little flatty. I'll take that. <laughs> That'll do. Nice. Hopefully that's the first of many. Pop that hook out. Nice. Happy with that one. Oh, good catch then. Could have been a rugby player. <laughs> well, yeah. Nice, yeah? I've not blanked. <laughs> Look how calm it is here at night. Isn't this like picturesque, people? Something about Land of No Pier, it's special. Me mate John Palfrey is coming to see me soon anyway. But I'm going to go back down now. The gentleman who's fishing behind me, another one's come, he said um, as soon as it turns dark, it kicks off and it's ready to turn dark. Look, just look at this, people. Ah, I don't know, there's something about land on up here. There's a lot of lead about, to be fair, on all the roofs. Look at all the lead on the roofs. See it? Is it lead or is it fake lead? I've been eyeing that up on the way in anyway. <laughs> Bit of lead. <laughs> Well, look, there's nobody here, man. Nobody here. Nobody anywhere apart from one dude fishing with me. It's a lovely place, London, no people. The two people I spoke to said when it gets dark, it uh, kicks off on London, no here. So we're going to have a look now and out the other guy who's just turned up next to me and in my box riding all my gear and stuff. <laughs> What a place though, what a venue. I've told the security kick us off when they, um, they shut the pier. It could be any time in between six and eight and it's five o'clock now. So I could have an hour. I could have three hour. I could come after eight, I don't know. Um, well, I've got my rods in by the way. I haven't left them in the water. <laughs> That's my platform there for the night or for the next few hours. Yeah, just what a, what a place to fish. You're so far out to see. Look, the beach starts over there and all the way over there. So you're well out into it. Let's see what happens. Right, I'll better get down there, start fishing. I need some more fish. I've got a flatty. I'm happy with the flatty. It stopped the blank. But you don't really. You don't really. I don't know. I'm happy to stop the black, but I really want to um, spend all day with three rods to catch flatty. I don't. <laughs> that was the old place I used to fish, I believe. You used to have to walk across there, it's all closed now. Go across there, fish off that one. Any luck, buddy? Not yet, no. Not yet, no? Soon, yeah? Well, if the bites start like I think they will, you're going to see my phone on this tripod soon with that light lighting up you also got the light of that and that nice that look at that reminds me of an old-fashioned bird cage <laughs> gonna be a conga from there later i was gonna jack about when was i gonna jack i was gonna jack about three or four o'clock this afternoon 
and I decided to stick it out. I decided to go for it and I decided to stay. And I'm still in at five o'clock and I'm fishing till they kick me off because I ain't a quitter. <laughs> That's the simple bottom line of it, I ain't a quitter. I'm gonna fish it the best I can with three rods and if it don't happen then I can leave it as saying I'd give it my all. It's putting me night lights on, getting them ready and it is my G. <laughs> Don't mind recording you, do you, shall we? Well, well, yeah, well, well. Are you going to catch one, yeah? I hope so, mate. going to have one. I'm just putting the night lights on, getting ready. Right, I've got to cut this phone off now before chaos, chaos happens. <laughs> <laughs> yee <-haw. laughs> Giddy up. Giddy up, my boy. Right, we're going to get the night lights on all the rods. We're going to have a rebate. And uh, we're going to go again. For the guy who's fishing with us, has had a white in. Is that your second one, mate? Yeah, second tonight. So there's some fish coming out now. There will be. There will be, yeah? Now it's night time. Now it's night time. Cheers, buddy. More yeah. to come, yeah? Because the roads have calmed down. There's no people about. That's why. Yeah, no people about. And they won't scare the fish away. And they won't scare the fish. That's it. Right, we're going to catch some now, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to do the business now, mate. Right, I've just literally rigged both my rods up. I've tucked the little scratching rod in now. I'll put the night lights on. I've just put on this one, people, giddy up. Just put me a big squid with bait on that one. And when I wrap my bait, I always wrap, you know, where the eye of the hook is, because that stops the hook turning, you know, the fat bit. And I always put a bit of wrap just behind the eye, because then that stops the hook sliding up, yeah? So we've got that squid going out. And on this one, we have got. Better put me grippers up, Chavy. Get them grippers up. It's hard to do with one hand, there you go. And that's like uh, baited feathers, but these these hooks are uh, pretty big. They're not like your normal little feathers. They're uh, pretty big. So that's what's going out now on them two rods. And I'll put the phone on the tripod now. Um, I reckon we could have a few bites now, to be fair. It's got dark now. Right then, I'm gonna move this tripod. The red light is the one with a squid on, or them little bits of squid. The green light is the big squid on its own. So let's get this set up here. <laughs> right, here we go, people. We've got a bite. Here we go. You guess what fish it is, yeah? four bites on that hook so what I might do as he said I might just let that go for a bit <laughs> yeah I'm gonna leave that for a bit to be fair because we might get a few more it's a good bite though yeah People was right, everybody I spoke to, as soon as it gets dark, it's kicking off. It's a shame though that you can't fish the pier for much after, well, I've heard it's eight till eight, but um, I've also heard six, seven o'clock, the security can throw you off. So we just played it by ear. I'll let you know what time we get through off anyway. But uh, I might even actually drive round to the wall in land, I don't know. And, um, have an hour there, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna leave that bite unfold for a bit and uh, see if we can uh, get a couple on there, eh? So two's better than one. While I was having this bite here, the gentleman who was fishing the other side of the pier to us uh, come over and asked if he could pull my fish in. Um, so yeah, I just, uh, I just went with it. <laughs> go on then, mate, you can hook it for me, I'll film it, go on. My man's come round. Is it? I think it's gone in the rocks. It's got it tucked in the rocks. Got to pull it out there, man. Come on. Come on, it'll snap the line. You let some line off, see what happens. He's took, he's took me right now, like. <laughs> Sharing his caring, mate. That is good. Good fish, yeah? Yeah, but it went. 
Ocean Rocks, it's happened to me as well, I fear. Yeah, I can't believe it. Well, I'll put it back down, I'll take it out in a minute. You alright though, yeah man? Yeah, but it's not, it's, it's spamming the rocks. <laughs> that rod is absolutely f***ing gorgeous. Pen prevail that rod, mate. <laughs> you alright, man, yeah? Come on, let's see if I can get it in. I'll put the phone on the tripod and I'll see if I can sort it for us, yeah? <laughs> this is a dude who's just gone fishing. It uh, happened to me as well, the hungry little bass, you know. The whacker. Yeah, we've supplied, we've given you, you a load, load of night lights for your future sessions, then, eh? Yeah. I've got some rigs here if you want them. No, I'm all right. I'll do my. Well, whatever you need, oh, man. I'm here to help anybody that fishes, yeah? Okay, yeah. Nice. You caring, man? I'd like to think I'm caring. I'd like to help. It's fucking weird, that is. <laughs> it must be. Well, I explained it in the shop. Yeah. What happens is you get a massive fish on and, and they snag you. And he says, oh, it'll probably be a bass or a conger eel. You yeah, yeah. Get bass in the winter anyway. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. That nearly dragged me in, that bit. Though. That nearly dragged you in? Yeah, honestly, yeah. Right, I'm going to put the phone on the tripod, mate. And I'm going to try and... Uh, I'll try and get it in. Let's have a look what's happening. If it snaps, it snaps. Let's be fast for them fuckers. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm on. There's one watching there, and that's the last one for all that. Wiggle it out. A bit of Corey wiggling. Yeah, they reckon if you move from side to side, it might happen. Side to side definitely helps, man. Yeah. <laughs> you get that one, yeah. I thought you might have to pull for the break. I'd leave, I'd let the long go stop and let pull it out. It's only gonna go out, isn't it? Once it feels that there's no tension, it's only gonna gel. It's like carp when the carp it's a it's a bit of uh, weed in that there, John. Yeah, it's you right. You let that long go, slack, it's gonna go, isn't it? You'll be alright, because it happened to me and I got an attack bath. Yeah, I've got a tackle bath. Oh we got Yeah, that's definitely a big alright. Three times now it's done that to me. Didn't really want to lose that rig. 15 foot that we had. 15. 15 is it? 15 foot man, yeah. Yeah, it's compensated for his little Corey. Compensated <laughs> for me little Corey. Is that a car, Corey? Got a bite on that one now. Security's come, so I've got to pack up. Gutted because the bites have just started, but what can you do? Rolls are rolls, eh? You keep your eye on them for a bit. I'm going to leave them until I pack up, even if there's bites on them. Got it, to be honest, because he's just started fishing. I ain't going to lie, I'm absolutely devastated, but... you got to play the game how the game is, haven't you? Yeah, for Michigan, um, I've got a shop next door to me and a Chinese the other side. So I was in the shop next door and this little uh, VW camper pulled up. Yeah. And I thought, ooh, that looks nice. And uh, I didn't realise, unbeknown to me, I was standing next to Matt Hayes and uh, Mick Brown in the yeah, shop. Yeah, yeah. So you said that follow them and it's trying to. Yeah. No, we've got to go and I just missed that, mate. <laughs> I used to watch that, uh, what was it, Rex Hunt, that Australian fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to, I used to, I'm not a keen fisherman to be honest, but he was funny, I used to like him. He was entertaining. The only, the only uh, Australian person I've ever watched since then. Right up. Oh, what is it? Fuck island. Two of them and we got to go because security's here kicking us off the bugger. <laughs> just started feeding people. But that, uh, respect yeah. where it's due, we got to go. One down. Good that for a little uh, live bait, that would be. I'd love to put that in now. Security's here kicking us off, people. <laughs> I shot that rig down. That dude just struck my rod there. Here he is, look. Look, here he is again. 
Hi guys, how's it going? Try, try you should struck me rod when there's nothing on it. <laughs> Thunder, lightning, the way it is is quite frightening. This guy's a legend, quite love him. <laughs> if you do not have a fishy night, Cackle. then don't be miserable from the night. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> what a legend, man. So, he's back on my rod again, but I don't mind sharing his caring, mate. <laughs> um, I like to be fair with people, you know. Yeah, that's it. You know, if you're fair with me, I'm fair with you. That's how it rolls. Is he after my fish again? Yeah, there's one on there. Go on then, mate, take it off, because that's the last rod coming in, mate. I've only met this geezer that? tonight, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's already had half my fish. Go on, mate, pull it in, go on. So we've got to get off, because this man's got to get us off, and he's got his job to do. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? Go on, really, inks. We've got to go anyway, mate. Oh, you're in anyway. It's a shame because it would have been a really nice, quiet night for you. It would have been a good night, mate. It is what it is, isn't it? You've been here all day? Since about eight, yeah. Yeah. It's only just started fishing the last half hour, you know. Yeah. A whacker on there, boys. A whacker. <laughs> Hope it's not a mermaid, she might ask me for the date. Good one. You know, go on here last year and killed a fucking. Uh, you've got quite, quite a sizable tope out of here. A tope from off here, yeah. There you go, there you go. Fish are, eh? Yeah, fair play. Well, we've got a double up here, mate. A double lock. Double fucking. Yeah, oh, mate. Go on, swing him round then. I'll oh, drop him down. Yeah. Oh, what in fair play, mate? Yeah. Uh, when's your next visit here? Yeah, uh, I've only fished here a few times, to be fair. But. See you when yeah. I see you, man, yeah? Thank you, mate. All the best, yeah? Enjoyed your company, you've been good. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Right, I'll do this ending video now. In all fairness, I don't know if this video is ending here or if I'm going to go and fish on the wall. So if you don't see no more from now, it's over. If there's any time left after here, I've gone somewhere else. Ladies, people.